Yes! Oh, he's there, he's there! You got him! What is there to ice fishing? I know... I think I know some things. I know you need to drill a hole in the ice to drop your hook down. I know that the fishing rods are comically small. And I know that you can put a tent over the hole to make it more inter or like warmer, but you don't have to. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. What I envision is like, honestly, a lot of sitting around and drinking around a hole in the ice. <laughs> And we've got three 10 inch holes drilled in the ice. They go down 17 inches. The art of fishing is sitting around and bullshitting with people. <laughs> what sort of size fish do you envision yourself catching? Uh, so I, I was thinking like tiny little fish, um, but Gibson Tilly, the man who's taking us ice fishing, has like photos with like pike, like giant, like, they look like they're like four feet long. So now I'm only going to be satisfied with like a trophy winning fish. And hopefully you guys only catch tiny little fish. <laughs> Heading out ice fishing. It's going to be minus 40, which is balls cold, as they say in the weather world. And it's all about layering. So three layers on the bottom, three layers on the top, two layers on my head, three layers on my hand, one, two, three, four layers on my feet. It's gonna be warm. You're actually quite well prepared. I am. This, this is my first ice fishing rodeo, but not my first cold weather rodeo. Uh, I've spent a lot of years figuring out my system, uh, specifically how to keep like my legs warm being a paraplegic with very little blood flow. What we have here is our new all-wheel drive system with our two front hub motors and we're really curious to see how it works in some extreme conditions so we're going to take it out into the polar vortex so some pretty pretty uh, cold temperatures minus 44 something ridiculous like that so we want to see what sort of battery life we'll get like the tires here they're all studded up ready to ready to go on the ice and snow gets us places where uh, we normally wouldn't be able to go through deep snow up big hills. Off to meet our fishing guide for the day, Gibson Tilly, at a fast cast, an hour east of Calgary. And you know he's into it because it's minus 30 and he's still coming out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't have blamed him one bit. What do they call the rain check for the cold? <laughs> Just a damn cold check. My name is Gibson Tilly. We're out here in southern Alberta today. We're fishing walleyes uh, during a polar vortex. The core of the cold will be coming in Friday through Sunday, um, really blanketing uh, Alberta right through the Great Lakes. So cold, cold, cold. It sure is nice though. At least it's sunny. on this lake. 
What, uh, what happened? Just a little bit on my lower back exposed, but it's thawed out now and we're safe. But we've got to, we're mitigating it with some clothing that will cover the whole zone. Fish, they're being a little sluggish, but they're yeah. here. Yeah. Man, nothing wanted to work today. Heater didn't want to work. His electric system failed. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there, you see that red mark? He's on you right now. Bring it up. Oh. See, see him so, below? Yeah, see him below? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, sorry. No, you're all right. <laughs> so, okay. If you feel it. <laughs> you feel it? Get my hand like Mike Tyson. Okay. Like, 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 bang. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big uppercut. What can you see down there, Chris? It's the whole cold water. <laughs> 17 inches of ice. So, where did we go? I got a. Yeah. I caught myself a lure. Oh! A poor little, uh,. Hopefully, if we don't catch anything, that's what you get for dinner. <laughs> Wait for it. Right up, looked at it. Go! She'll eat eventually. Here, fishy, 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 we'll fall, fishy. We'll fall. How are you guys finding the anticipation of catching a fish? It's real. It is unlike anything else. <laughs> Feeling into itself. It's like the best video game possible. Oh. Yes. Hey. Yes. yes. Dinner. Look at that. Put your hand underneath, nice and flat. There you go. Look at those teeth, eh? Tricky little Look at fish that. far away. Yeah. So it looks fair. It is. <laughs> Awesome! Is this the coldest that you've been out with the bowhead? This is the, yeah, this is by far the, the coldest. It's certain, and we've never been out with the all-wheel drive in weather like this. Most things with the bike we found, like, the limitation is the person. Like, yeah. from performance to weather. Right. <laughs> we keep retreating inside and it <laughs> keeps hanging out outside. Well, I noticed when you hopped on it didn't make any like extra noise or anything, it's just still operating normally. And you yeah. guys were tearing around and doing donuts and so when they're when they're being finicky like this, the way I like to think about it, it's kind of like if someone were to slide your favorite meal in front of you, like whether it be pizza or like a plate of spaghetti, right. and you're like, oh man, that looks so good. But someone gave it to me that I don't know who they are. Right. So you go really close to it and you smell it. <laughs> and it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like spaghetti. You're like, you're smelling, but it doesn't smell like spaghetti. It smells like Smells like axle grease. How long does this happen to you? And you're, and you're, you're like, oh, I don't know. That's no. That, I, I'm not gonna eat that. And then you, you go away and you come back and you look back at the table and there it is, just gleaming. It's looking so tasty. That pizza is just like, come and have a bite. I just got crushed again and she spit it out. Oh, you son of a! <laughs> she just came and smacked it and then she just walked away. As soon as I. Yes! Oh, oh, he's there, he's there! You got him! Yeah, buddy! Look at that. Oh, Double up! I don't know that he's very big. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. He's big. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get that yeah. down and I'll land him. My friction. Good. Is it? Oh, my God. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Perfect, buddy. Go burn him up so that your hand is kind of underneath. There you go. Yes, just like that. And if you tickle right. his belly, tickle his belly, and that fin will go up. Like maybe it's oh. cold. It doesn't want it. Nice. No, it's too cold. There you go. How does it feel, Christian? Feels pretty good. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. Yes. There you go. Nice work. One. See ya! Nice. Uh, 
Amazing. That's awesome. Oh, Thanks, hey. man. Right That's technically we've succeeded now. Yep. Yes. We, <laughs> time we can relax. Yeah. That was perfect. That was. That was perfect. Outside world. It's a lot warmer in here. So you can just like sit with your hands like that. Right for I mean I can hold them like that, but right. my hand looks pretty ugly. Yeah. So I just hold them nice and small. And they're pretty docile. They I was amazed. Yeah, they, they seem to just relax. This hands-free fishing, Gibson. What would you call it? I thought I, thought I was developing some skills, and now I've been replaced by a robot. <laughs> right? So just do this, and then set this little thing that's on a hair trigger, so that when this fish comes and bites, it sets the hook for you. Uh, the one thing I learned how to do. Thank you. It's almost the last hour of the day, and typically the last hour we call power hour for walleyes because they will usually if they've been tight lipped all day they'll come in they'll start feeding right before dark and usually for like an hour after dark as well I'm stoked for power hour anticipation is high <laughs> hopefully we can close bandit peak my up track hazy ipa from bandit peak brewing where the proceeds go to a bowhead reach for a Rocky Mountain Adaptive. And it's a tasty treat when you're ice fishing. What are we doing out here? Right? We staring at a hole in the ice and a bunch of red lines on the screen and we trying to get some fish. came in just like a typical pike came in and absolutely crushed it we didn't even mark it that was not one came of the marks yeah yep. perfect great hook set, buddy. look at that oh babe. an absolute monster look at that that's a big jackfish oh whoa he just barked at you jack so pike have serrated teeth just like shark teeth at the back they've got serrations walleye are conical teeth they're perfectly round like needles oh look at this what look at this you gonna put him back in the hole Done, well done, Chris. How did that feel? Oh, it feels great. Worked hard out there. <laughs> Get my eye on the hole. <laughs> Held on to the rod. And the rest is history. <laughs> Reeled it in. Yeah, that was fantastic. Thanks a lot. Um, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what this thing can do. Open it up. <laughs> 